most people stop at failure. We've all failed at things. I'm going to continue to fail at stuff. Right? It's the most powerful tool you can use. But it all depends on how you use it. And most people are just satisfied with ad. There's always a next level. Your definition of greatness and what you want to achieve could be totally different than somebody else's. You know, we always say, no one wants to be first, okay, because they're afraid of the consequences that come with doing something first. You can't be a failure. You're the first to do something. If you're the first to do something, you can't be listed as a failure. There's two types of people. People that are going to get what they want and the life they want, and people that don't. Two types of people, folks. People that get the life they want and everybody else. A lot of people out there that are constantly trying to improve themselves by looking for the one change. The one change, right? The one change in their life that's gonna make their dreams come true. It isn't one thing. And it isn't 10 things, and it isn't 100 things. It isn't a quick path, and there are no shortcuts. Getting better isn't a hack, or a trick, or a one change that you need to make. Getting better is a campaign. It's a campaign, it's a daily, a weekly, it's an hourly fight incessant fight that doesn't stop against weakness and against temptation and against laziness. It's a campaign of discipline. It's a campaign of hard work and dedication. It's waking up early and going to bed late and grinding out every second in between. Every single day. Just start doing it. Take that first step and make it happen. Get after it. And get after it here and now. Every one of us who's a goal achiever sets goals, but very few people think about the obstacles that are there and them overcoming the obstacles. And in order to become an amazing goal achiever, you have to accept the fact that there will be obstacles, but you also have to prime your brain to recognize the obstacles and to teach it that you can overcome it. And you can do that in your mind first and you back it up with a plan. And guess what? You will start to become a goal achiever instead of just somebody who sets a goal. If you don't like the way your career is or your business is, change it. If you don't like your body, change it. You don't like your relationship, change you first. Because if you change it, you'll bring you to the next one. Maybe it's time to change it too, but change yourself first. If you want to change anything in your life, you have the choice. So there is no right or wrong. I just want to make you aware in this breakthrough session that everything in our life changes the moment we make a decision. I mean a real decision. A decision is when you cut off any other possibility, you commit to something, but everything you've got and you take action. The big decisions start with little decisions like, what am I going to focus on? Because whatever you focus on, you're going to feel. So instead of sitting in that job for the next 10 years, go do your thing. You've got plenty and plenty of time. People want to know how to stop the laziness. They want to know how to stop the procrastination. They have some idea in their head, you know, some kind of a, a vision what they want to do, but they don't know where to start, they don't know where to start it, you know, they don't know where to start. Where do I start, and, and when's the best time to start, and I have a very simple answer for that. Here, and now, that's it, you, you want to improve, you want to get better, you want to get on a workout program or a clean diet. You want to start a business. You want to write a book or make a movie or build a house or a computer or put together some mobile application. Where do you start? 
you start right here. And when do you start? You start right now. Because the idea isn't going to execute itself. And, and the book isn't going to write itself. And the, the weights out in the gym, they're not going to move themselves. You have to do it. And you have to do it now. You want to get better? You want to self-improve? Stop looking for a shortcut. And go find your discipline. And find your guts and your passion and your drive and find your will. And then, and then, you will find your freedom. There's so many individuals out there that are so talented in different things and never accomplish anything. The world is filled with talented people and they never accomplish anything. The body has limitations, the mind does not. We focus so much on what goes on from the neck down that we forget it all starts from here. If you're not mentally ready, you're never really physically prepared. Why most people never achieve their goals while two or three percent really achieve a high level of success. The people who took this one action every single day were the ones who achieved their goals and dreams more often than anybody else. Finding your passion is also one of the biggest questions. You just gotta try everything. You just gotta keep trying. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing. It's like, you have to be motivated to at least try. I firmly believe that everybody on this planet has a gift. It's your job to figure out what that gift is. Then it becomes your job to decide whether you're going to act on that or not. There is nothing we cannot do. It's really a matter of setting a focus goal, because without a target, you'll miss it every time. Picking a target and then picking the steps along the way and realizing that with all the resources, all the capital, all the expertise is there. But ultimately, it's only going to be tapped if that target is in your heart and your soul. What changes our whole life is action. Why don't we take action, fear? What we gotta do to get ourselves to do it? We gotta make sure that we push ourselves through it by making a decision. The point in which change happens is a decision. Every change in your life that you want will come from something simple, a decision. See, a real decision is not like a preference. It's not like we say, I'll try it and see. That's not a decision. Decision comes from Latin. It means like incision to cut off from. Decision is when you cut off any possibility except the thing you've committed to. It's like that is it. A decision is the first step. Decision is like a war. I gotta do this or that. All right, I'm gonna make myself do this. But commitment is when you nail, after you've decided, you commit to do this for the long term. Whether it's hard or easy, doesn't matter. You're doing this. It takes it from this moment and it carries you to the future even when things are difficult. Decide, commit, and resolve. Don't wait until you're 25 or 35 or 45 years old. Start building that discipline right now to get what you want because there's 7 billion other people on this planet trying to get it, trying to get this thing called success. See, most people think success is a straight line. I'm going to get out of high school, I'm going to get a job, and everything's going to be fine. That's not how it plays out, folks, okay? This is how it plays out. Guy decides he wants something, and the line gets all squiggly. See, that's really what success looks like. 